And so sometimes people lose their faith because they believe too much. They don't believe uh, when the Savior said to Adam and Eve that this would be alone in a dreary and a challenging world. And sometimes they believe the things that Jesus never promised. You understand? He never was called among his names, never called the preventer. Well, uh, and then on top of that is sometimes the, the challenges of faith, uh, when faith is really put to the test, in the midst of the adversities, I like to present it this way. Remember Jesus saying uh, to his disciples, what man or woman is there of you whom if his son asks bread, uh, will he give him a stone? And, uh, or if he shall ask a fish, will give him a serpent? If he then be evil, in other words, we be mortal, simply. We be uh, mortal individuals. Know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? And, and that's wonderful, isn't it? He says, if we be mortal... And, and know how to give gifts, uh, time, energy, sacrifice, so forth that you have for your children. How much more does Heavenly Father, uh, who loves them with perfect love, will be, will be willing to give those things? But the reality of, the, of faith, the test of faith sometimes, the dilemmas sometimes, is when you have uh, prayed and pled. And what I, what's wonderful, every one of you in here uh, have been going through stuff, right? Um, and... And it may be you've prayed and fasted and, you know, and asked for, in essence, your blessing, asked Lord for bread. But thus far, you feel like you're, you're getting a stone. You're right? Or sometimes you pray to, to for, if we can use a metaphor, asking, praying, fasting for fish, if you will. Your, your, your hope, your goals for your child, your ill child, or the, or the inactive, or the marriage falling apart, or those type of things. And you've pled for a long period of time, and in fact, rather than feeling that you're getting a fish, that you feel like you're getting a serpent. Does that make sense? Every one of you can relate uh, to some degree. If you can't relate to it, be patient. <laughs> okay? And so that's when the faith, the rubber really meets the road uh, in those, uh, you know, the gospel promises and the realities of, of life. So let's talk about the uses. <laughs> I, joined, I joined the church in Japan years ago. So. 